Cersei High School. I'm Sam Webb. And I'm Bo Ferret. So best friend, what would you say is your favorite hobby? Hmm, I don't really know, but I guess it would have to be finger painting. Uh, that's cool. Anyway, here's Brandon and Kyla with Austin Woods' favorite pastime. Many students have lots of interesting hobbies, but sophomore Austin Wood has one that stands out among the rest. Uh, when I took the suit up here to uh, donate it to the school, Miss Cramlett was looking for somebody to be the mascot. Austin obtained this job in a very unusual way. When we took it up there, she talked about how she wanted to put a guy in the suit and it was on a Wednesday and we had a home football game that Friday and she looked at me and said, hey, how about you do it? And Austin enjoys being the mascot for many reasons. I, I can just dance around and act stupid and everybody laugh. <laughs> but there are some downsides to this. Well, some night, sometimes when you got get home games late at night, like basketball games during the week, you'll get home late and then you got a bunch of homework to do, tests to study for, and you wear yourself out. Austin's social life has grown due to this. I, it's made myself, I mean, I've made a lot of new friends, you know, a lot of people, a lot more people know who I am. I, I can just be in Walmart or get at the doctor's office or something like a nurse or somebody like, hey, your name's Austin Wood, you're the Cersei Lion mascot. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Being the mascot does not affect Austin's schoolwork. It hasn't really at all. I, use, I get all my schoolwork done and everything, and I keep my grades up. Austin's friends think he's lucky to have this opportunity. I think it's really awesome, and <laughs> they uh, wish that they could have, it, have the spot. So as you can see, Austin really enjoys being the mascot. For Lion TV News, I'm Kyla Feather. That seems like a really fun. Have you noticed that the drama department has been really busy the past few weeks working on the dessert theater? I have noticed that. Did you go see it? No, but Ryan and Michael have the details. Every year the dessert theater allows drama and students to take the spotlight. Many things are required to put on a good show. We need a lot of stuff done set-wise. Like I'm pretty sure we constructed most of that. We didn't already have it. It takes a lot of people that are willing to put in hours learning their lines <laughs> and just a good attitude and a good play, most of all. Making dessert theater happen took a lot of dedication and team effort. Everyone gets together and works together, but we're not really pressured because we have like a month to learn it and we all get a lot closer and start getting along better for classwork once it's over with. The drama class took a lot of time to prepare. The producer enjoys a certain part of the show. Getting to see the students come alive in character and realize that they do have the capability to stand up in front of their friends and family and perform as actors and actresses. Ms. Taylor believes the time and effort made the show to be very successful and rewarding. For Lion TV, this is Michael Simpson. Wow, I wish I could have seen that. Justin and Jerry are always pretty busy. I wonder what they actually do with their time. Me too. So here they are telling us exactly what. If you've ever wondered how much hard work and dedication Jerry and I put into our stories, this is how we do it. First, we go to the board and we brainstorm. <laughs> After we decide on what we want to do, we go tell Riggins about it. Hey, Jerry, you have a great story on that. After speaking with Riggins about our story, we go in and try to approve our story from Miss Roman. Of course, we are not always successful, and we have to start all over. This means we start all the way back at square one until we get a story idea with Romy's approval. After we get the story approved, then we go and try to find people to interview, of course. 
First off, we go and get a camera. Then we retrieve our tape that we're going to use. After that, we go and head to study hall to try to find someone to interview. Of course, we're humans and make simple mistakes. Meaning, we sometimes forget to check the batteries and we have to go back and get new ones. Now for the interviewing process. We usually don't know what we're going to ask until we start asking questions. But as a team, we come up with the right questions to ask. Now as for capturing stuff on the computer, this is the simple process. All we do is stick the tape in there and capture it to the computer. After capturing it to the computers, we edit it for about three to four days, and then we send it to Riggins when it is finished. Now you see how we get our productions to you. For Lion TV News, this is Justin Green. Mystery solved. Guess so. <laughs> well, now it's time to say goodbye. So I'm Sam Webb. And I'm Bo Ferret, signing off for Lion TV News. Have a great day. Ah, uh, there. Here we go.